Hey guys, Michael Fowler here today, and today's subject is the M17 gas mask. In 1959, the U.S. Army put out a competition to replace the M9A1 gas mask, which was used in the Korean War. Many may know it. Um, there's many clones of it from Serbia and Finland, and hell, I believe even Norway had a copy of it. I mean, it was copied by everybody. Um, if you don't know the M9, then I will insert a image here. All right. So, there are essentially four versions of this mask. So there's the M17, which I have here. I do not have a full kit, but I have the bag with it as well. Um, and it comes with the spare lenses. I do not have the hood or the atropine kit, which many, the atropine kit is like impossible to find nowadays. Anyways, um, this is the original M17. Um, it's got pork chop filters and it was the first mask uh, to do so. Uh, they thought it would make it lighter and it did the opposite. But um, I don't entirely hate the design, and I may get onto that later if we have enough time. Um, my particular one was made by Firestone in 1963. Um, it may be kind of hard to see here. Maybe it'll focus. Who knows? If you can't tell, there's a big Firestone logo right there, like Firestone tires. It's also on the side. Maybe it'll focus on the side one a little better. Eh, maybe not. So, sorry about that, guys. Uh, we need to get a new camera. Um, this mask has a six-point head harness, and it also has triangular lenses, which is obvious. It has a speech diaphragm. It has an exhale valve and two filter inlets and two filters on the inside, which are pork chop filters. Um, they're just triangular-shaped filters that fit up into the mask, and they're very difficult to get in there, and it takes approximately... 10 to 15 minutes for an experienced person to get them up in there. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a child. Um, it would take 15 to 20 minutes to install the filters, and that's a huge problem in a chemical environment because y you need to essentially take off the mask to be able to replace the filters for this because there's buttons on the inside that's the only way they're coming out is by taking off the mask and exposing yourself. That's the problem with this gas mask. But for some reason, it stuck around and we kept using it for the longest time. So the four different versions of this mask are the M17, which is depicted here, the M17A1, the M17A2, and the XM27. Now, the M17A1 had a resuscitation tube and a drinking tube, which would wrap around here and have a little thingy here. Um, and then it would have, you would peel this up and there would be a tube underneath here and you could resuscitate somebody by taking off your own mask and resuscitating them that way, which makes zero sense. So they abandoned that very quickly and they did that in 1966. Um, the M 27 is the most unusual of the masks, and this was done, I believe, in 1967, but I wasn't able to find any really solidified information, sorry. Um, my hair keeps getting really in my way. I need a haircut. Anyways, um, the XM27 was an M17 made out of clear rubber, and it was made to be lightweight for the soldiers in Vietnam because they realized this thing wasn't very lightweight. And that's to say the damn very least. Um... I mean, hell, I think the GP5 is lighter than this. Now, somebody quote me on that. I may be wrong. I may be right. But I'm pretty sure a GP5 is lighter than this fucking thing. It's ridiculous. Anyways, I do kind of have an affection for this mask. Um, I just really love the way it looks. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not entirely opposed to cheap filters. And just hear me out here for a moment. They were designed to have a longer lifespan than a typical canister filter. And for that reason, it kind of makes sense, and I don't hate them. Most chemical attacks aren't any longer than two hours, tops, if you're able to get yourself out of the environment, which most sane human beings would unless you really have to defend an area. Um, so they wanted to have a lighter weight mask. Just in short, they wanted to lighten the weight of this mask, and it went fairly well, but they didn't end up adopting it. It was made out of silicone and it was clear. I will put an image right here. 
Okay. Now, the M17A2 was the last version of this mask made, and it was made in the 80s. There's no specific date on that one, but that one just had a drinking tube here. Um, that was pretty much the only difference. I have pretty much heard no other difference. It was just an M17 without the resuscitation tube, and the uh, or M17A1 without the resuscitation tube. That's all the M17A2 was, and that was used in the Gulf War. This mask has been used in many conflicts. It's been used in U.S. riots in the 60s to the 90s. I mean, it was used in U.S. prisons. I've seen that in documentaries where, you know, prison guards will have them if they had to deploy tear gas, and it was used in Vietnam. It was used in the Iran-Iraq War by Iran. Um, apparently, America sold them to them. Who would have guessed? Um, we used them in Panama, and we also used them in the Gulf War um, in 91, and I do believe some of them were still seeing service in nine or 2003, but I could be wrong. I just remember seeing them as a little kid when I was on an uh, army base, long story short. But I remember seeing them, so I feel like uh, they still were using them, but at, at least for training around lots of those times. But um, they replaced this with the M40A1 gas mask, which hopefully someday I'll own. I would love an M40 gas mask. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm sure it's an amazing gas mask. I've only heard great things. Um, it was replaced by that for the Army and the Marine Corps, and the Navy and the Air Force got the MCU-2P, which was a full visor gas mask, and both of these gas masks use side-loading filters, um, but the MCU-2P has like a full visor lens, and the uh, M40 doesn't. It's got similar lenses to something like this. Um, anyhow, um, in short, I have mixed emotions about this mask. Now, I like it for being innovative, and I appreciate that about it, but I think they thought two steps ahead and ended up with a, a monstrosity. Um, I feel like they are trying to make an M50 in the 60s, and they were just out of their minds trying to do something like that. The technology wasn't there. Um, anyhow, we'll put the mask on, but before that, I'll show you the bag just to get that over with, because I forgot. Um, there she is, M17 medium size just a very simple bag it has nothing with it just open and this is a drop pouch so it just goes around your leg um this many people think is a shoulder strap it's not you take it around yourself and then this one just goes around your leg it just kind of dangles there but it works you can take my word for it it does so we'll throw her on um many of these were issued with chemical hoods maybe someday i'll get one and do a quick review on it perhaps maybe someday i'll get an m17a1 or m2 a2, sorry. Long day at work. Anyways, let me just throw this guy on. So, as you can tell, this mask is very bulky on the head. It just increases the circumference of your head by two. Just like the M10A1. Uh, M10A1. Well, I'll tell you guys, it's been a long one. M10 gas mask, sorry. Um, the speech diaphragm is very good on here. Um, it's a seal very good, six point head harness. They are elastic straps, which I have stated before. I love those, so it wins some points there. My eyepieces are clearly yellowed. I'm sure you notice that. Honestly, it kind of gives it a charm, which I kind of like, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to breathe through this too long because I have heard that there's chromium in the filters, but, you know, die doing what you love, guys. Anyhow, you know, guys, give me your thoughts, opinions. Hell, just uh, give it a like or a dislike, or I honestly don't care. I like cr or constructive criticism. It's one of my favorite things. Unless it's about my hair, and you're just a collector and thinking it's not going to seal to my face, because that's not what I'm trying here. I'm trying to, I just like collecting them for history purposes. Anyhow, you guys have yourselves a great day, and uh, just try to deal with this pandemic bullshit. Rock on, guys.